This is a second video on what I refer to as pedophile cartoon porn. Stuart Ng Books is one of the main vendors of this stuff. The reason I'm highlighting this is awareness to the consumer. Let me put it this way. If you had a child and their teacher was drawing this stuff, my guess is you would have a concern. So if you have a child and animation studios have animators and cartoonists who are producing this, or if you're going to an animation convention or a cartoon convention and stewarding books is there or any of these animators or cartoonists are there, would you want to support them? Would you want your children around them? I think it's a question worth asking. It's also worth calling them to account for their promotion of the sexual exploitation of children, which is how I view it, in my opinion, what is being done through these images. So just so you know what I'm talking about, previously we talked about Chris Sanders. You can see these things are not cheap. If you want to buy a sketchbook, it's $250. Um, from Stewarding Books. Bruce Tim, I'm going to do a, another video on him exclusively, but he is one of the main uh, purveyors of um, this cartooning style, which highly sexualizes uh, adolescent girls. Stewarding Book sells a lot of statues. Um, this character is Mandy, uh, shown in a very girlish way, but with massively uh, enlarged breasts. Fred Moore was a Disney cartoonist, and in a it's very, in my opinion, um, perverted that the Fred Moore girl, which was a very innocent image, has been changed and modified to create a highly sexualized um, adolescent girl. The change is very subtle, but it's also very real. The If you look at the original image of the Fred Moore girl, the eyes are downcast, and there's a sense of innocence and bashfulness. It's not at all sexualized, but to sell this statue, they have changed the tilt of the head slightly and the eyes. And there is no purpose for this except to um, normalize the sexualization of children, in my opinion. There's a cartoon called Sky Doll, which is heavily promoted by stewarding books. My understanding, this is based on memory, but I think there was some couple in France that wanted to come up with the optimal animation character they could market. And through some committee and marketing exploration, they came up with this highly sexualized girl who looks like an adolescent uh, but has massive breasts and dressed like a stripper and is an alien. And again, I'm not talking about censorship. What I'm talking about is awareness of the consumer. Do you want to give your dollars to some store or website that promotes sexualized images of children, if you have a choice and uh, can buy what you want elsewhere, then that's something to consider. If you go to a movie and one of these animators like Chris Sanders is involved, 
do you want to register a concern with DreamWorks? This is another thing sold on stewarding books. Obviously, I think the only way to characterize it is pedophile cartoon porn. A lot, what a lot of animators and cartoonists do is they do what I see here by Bing Caldwell. They take adolescent girls who theoretically could be um, older, but they put them in a very adolescent pose and mannerisms. So they're creating the feeling that there is a, a child who is uh, highly sexualized. And there's this woman, um, Derrico, who has put out lots of uh, books that are very expensive, again, with highly sexualized charged images of what I think are obviously uh, children. I find it concerning. I've found no one ever talks about this or registers a concern. And this isn't about censorship. And I am completely understand cheesecake and drawings that are expressive. But my view, my opinion, is that these images have no purpose except to titillate the uh, pedophiles and encourage and normalize the sexualization of children. So stewarding books, something to consider and consider where you want to spend your money.